Vocals. What's up guys, it's Plus Retro here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube thumbnail without using Photoshop. Alright, so you want to go into Google and the site you want to load is Pixlr. P-I-X-L-R dot com. Once you get here to Pixlr, you want to scroll down and just go to Pixlr Editor and click Launch Web App. You don't need to download this software, it's online, it's okay. It's, it's good to use so you want to click create new image you want to change the width to 1280 you want to make the height 720 and you want to make it transparent all right you can leave this the same this doesn't matter and right here over here to the right I make it smaller so you can see the whole area you're working with now first thing you're gonna need is a background so go over the new tab and go to Google images I don't know say you just want a blue background you just type in a blue background um, the sizes have the size of the background has to be bigger than the size you just put in for here so this was 12 1280 by 720 is right here down here in the corner 1280 by 720 it has to be bigger than 1280 by 720 this is bigger view image sometime it, it's a download leak below it asking you to download what size you want like right here it says download in original size so I want to click that so the whole size can come up so I can download the original thing so we're gonna save that one. This one should work. It looks pretty big. It likes the actual size. Save that to the desktop. We don't need this tab anymore. You got that picture. You wanna to go to File, Open Image. You wanna click the one you just saved that you want as your background. All right. After you open it, when you get here, you wanna click Control. Then you wanna click A. Then you wanna click C. So all while you're holding Control, click A and then click C without letting go of Control. So you can X out of this, you don't have to save that. All right, so now you're on this background that you've made. You wanna click Control and V. That will paste it down there. Then you will wanna go to Edit, and you wanna scroll down to Free Transform. And you see the box around it? That's the whole picture. So by dragging from one of the corners, you can make it smaller and make it fit perfectly into it. I like it like this, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. You wanna click outside of the box, when you click it's going to ask you do you want to apply the changes you click yes all right now you want to go to adjustment it's in the middle of all the tabs the first it's the first tab you want to click on brightness and contrast I personally like turning the brightness down a little bit to about negative 10 for a picture like this sometimes negative 20 but for this I'll use negative 14 you want to turn it down because when you add layers or pictures it makes them pop more it makes them pop out more all right, so you have that. Now say, say you want to add a picture to your background to make it a nice thumbnail. You will go back over here to Google Images, and when you type in a picture, you want to type PNG after it to make it transparent, so there will be no background behind it. So this video is about how to make a thumbnail. I don't know. Let's just use a YouTube logo. So YouTube logo, then PNG after it. It has to be PNG. So find one that you want. Say you want to use this one. This is the basic one. You see that's a white background, so that's not transparent. That's not PNG. You want to click on one that has a checkered background. This has a checkered background, so it will be um it's a PNG. You want that. So you want to click that, save image, save it to your desktop. There you go. Now the same steps over here. You want to go back to file. Not new image, sorry same steps over here you want to go back to file open image click on that your YouTube the PNG that you want and open it now same thing for this you want to click control a and then C and then copied it you can close that out and press no you don't want to save there's no point so then right here control and V to paste it now you have the YouTube PNG that you want you want to go to edit and free transform this will make it bigger or smaller alright guys so say you want it that big bam you say you want it right there you click outside of the box around the picture 
for this option to pop up. You want to click yes to apply that. Now that's set. That's okay. Say you want another logo. You can do the same thing. Look up the logo you want and put PNG. Say you're a Call of Duty gamer. Let's look up a Black Ops 2 PNG. If your video is over something like this. You want to use say this character. Make sure it has a checker background behind it. You see it has a checker background so we can just right click that. Save image as. Click on desktop. Bam. It's saved. Same steps again guys. File. Open image. Click on it. Open it. Control AC. Close that out. You don't have to save it. Control V. Then you want to go to edit free transform. You want to drag the box down because that's way too big. You want to actually fit in the picture, of course. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's not serious. So I'm just going to throw them right here. Bam. Apply changes. Yes. All right. So you have your picture. You can add words right here. Right here on, on the left, it says a letter A. This is the typing tool. So you can add your text right here. I don't like using this because I don't. It's just... I don't like using it. The effects, the fonts aren't aren't that good to use. It doesn't stand out. It's not the fonts you thumbnail. So you go to edit and undo to make to take that off. Then you want to go to file and save this. And when you save it, you want to make it a PNG always so it's full quality. You could just change the title to wait, it's saving. Working, please wait. Alright, so you could just change the name of it. Just say thumbnail for tutorial since this a tutorial okay I'm gonna save it to my desktop because we're about to use it save all right so you want to open a new tab what I like to do with my thumbnails I type in add text to photo you see I automatically pops up for me add text to photo I always use pick font on all my thumbnails it's just easier to me all right so we're gonna drag that and we're gonna drag the thumbnail right here All right, you want to leave it at, you see right here it says 100%. You want to leave it at 100% to make sure it's the right thumbnail size. If you change it, it makes the picture smaller. You see right here it says picture size. It makes it smaller and that's not the size we want. So leave that on 100. All right, so this is what I usually do. I just type in how to because I wanted to say how to at the top. So I'll drag it like right here. I want to make that. Make sure the box is clicked. Make the font size go all the way up. So it can be a good size. For me, I make the text white. For effects, I make the outline large. And I make it black. That's what I do on, on most of my videos. So how to... Now I'll click away from the text box to start a new... Um, start a new text box. Make a... I would just put make a... For the second line this is how i want mine make a click off that again for a new text box and say thumbnail now of course guys you can change change the color you want you don't have to make an outline like this you can make the outline thin like that you can make it a large shadow shadow you can barely see that but yeah that's a shadow so i just make it the outline large and yeah, you could just add different stuff. Just play around with it. You can make these different colors. Just play around with it, guys. Have fun. And just make great thumbnails for YouTube, guys. So yeah, that was a video on how to make a thumbnail using Pixlr and no Photoshop at all. This is a simple way to me. Once you once you keep doing it, you'll get used to it, guys. So yeah, this is the easiest way that I found out to make a thumbnail. Shout out to my buddy Zyovo for this tutorial, showing me how to do it. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, please leave a like to this subscribe. And if you've been here before, just stay stay here. I upload daily or every other day. So yeah, thank you for coming back to my channel and watching every day. It's Plus Retro and I'm out. Alright, what's up guys? It's Plus Retro here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your PlayStation 3 gameplay with an Elgato HD60. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to need is the most obvious Elgato HD60. This is...